So let's say you finish analyzing your data and you just want to explore and find out whether there's a similarities uh, between participants or similarities between sources of data. Let's say you call it you interview participant and also you did a survey and you want to find out whether there's kind of relationship between um, the open-ended responses concerning the survey and also the interview responses. And so there are two ways of doing that. Uh, you go to Explore and you can go to Comparison Diagram and you'll be able to compare um, sources or you can compare codes or you can compare cases, right? The second option is to go to uh, Project Map and you'll be able to do the comparison. So let's start with the first option so let's say you want to compare sources so sources it so you know, it, when you go to antenna it sources and then you click on sources and you click on internals um, here you can see that there are interviews that has been coded and also the survey so we just want to find out um, the um, the relationship in terms of um, um, the codes that have been developed, how are they related, or the nodes that have been developed, is there any kind of relationship between the nodes developed in the interview transcript and also the open-ended responses for the survey. So this is how you could do it. You go to a uh, comparison diagram and then click on the source, and you go to internals, you click on the plus here, you check interview. Here you cannot do everything, you have to choose, you only, the limitation that you have to choose two sources. So you can choose one of the interviews, Doherty, you can choose the Doherty interview transcript, and then you can choose uh, the survey, right, and compare, um, them and see whether there's any kind of similarities. So you click on OK and this is what you're going to see. Um, it's very small, you can't see, so you have to click here and so to enlarge it and see what is really going on. So let me see what whether we can... Oh, okay, perfect. So you can see that you have Dorothy transcript and also um, survey responses in terms of open-ended responses and you can see that they have something in common. The, the middle ones are things that they have in common. You can see that these are all nodes um, so that you can see the common uh, uh, the common things that you can find and also the things that are on your left side um, are the things that they don't have in common and the thing on the right are also the things that they don't have in common for um, that are in um, the survey responses but have nothing to do with the, uh, the with Doherty um, responses or Doherty uh, interview transcript. So you can see here that it, um, um, there are notes or codes that are, are you have in common. So that's how you're going to do So You can see here the commonalities. Um, as I said, the limitation here is that you can only do two. You can compare two sources or two um, cases. You cannot compare three cases at a time. So let's also focus. Let's say you want to also compare and, uh, notes, right? So I just want to compare uh, notes in terms of let's um, notes in terms of maybe um, the mix uh, attitude and then and maybe um, check infrastructure note. So you can see here that it gives you the common uh, the things that they have in common. So you can see that for the notes um, it's coming from um, we can see the inter interview transcript, Barbara's interview tra transcript and I think uh, Maria Daniel interviewed transcript too. So they are coming and also they came from this audio or video um, data. And so, and also, 
um, there is some information here that I'm not familiar. I think it's, it shows the cases, the case note that the, um, the nodes are related to. So the ones on the left side are the things that are has, uh, they don't have anything in common. On the right side, they don't have anything in common. So this will help you to see what they have in common and what they don't have. So let me show you the second option. Things. Uh, so let me close this one and go back to uh, uh, go back to Explore and click on Project Map. And you have to give a name to it. In this case, I'm just going to see say uh, Pro Map. Just a name help. So you can click on add project items and then let's say we compare we want to find out what is going on with um, the sources. So in terms of interviews, um, you don't have to choose everything. Maybe you can choose two interviews, transcript, and then you also want to find out um, the survey, what is going on with the survey. So you can check survey and then you can click on OK. So you can see that all the three items are here, the sources are here. So what you have to do is to see whether they have anything in common. You know, the good thing about the project one is you can compare more than two, right? But the comparison diagram, you just focus on two. So that's the uh, positive, positive side of using the project map. So you can click on one of the items and then right click and then you go to show associated items. I think that will give you information about anything that is related to this. And then maybe you want to look into the code. So the coding items are here. Um, um, I don't know you have, what to look at the notes. Yes, uh, let me close. Let me reduce this one. So we are looking at the notes, and we just want to find out maybe. Um, let's say when we you you can bring the uh, one of the notes to the right side and see how they are related to other uh, parts. So maybe in terms of attitudes, I, I'll bring the positive here. So you can see that the positive um, node is related to three of them. So you can see that they have something in common, right? Let's see the negative node. It's only related to the survey responses and the um, uh, child's transcript, right? And so, and if we want to get more information about the, that, you can double click the node and all the items will be there for you to know um, the content right you can see all the things that are related to positive so um, that's how you're going to be able to compare so sometimes what it happen you can also maybe click on economy maybe agriculture and see so they are related to the three of the nodes and another thing that you can also right click the survey and go to source show association and see the codes that you can get. So under node, there's a memorable code. Um, let's say the economy, um, and maybe double click the economy and see. So you can see that the economy is also related to all the three of them. Um, you can see the economy is related to all the three. Um, let's see tourism. Tourism is related to only two of, uh, all, uh, tourism is I think related to um, the survey responses and also and comes under economy. And you can see that this is um, a little bit rough. So you can go up here and rearrange it and see how it's going to look like. Um, so I think this rearrangement, you can rearrange it nicely and see what is going on and you'll be able to do the comparison and see what, what they have in common. So if they're having something in common, what, uh, what, uh, what should you do? What is the interpretation? This means that 
there are information in Charles' uh, responses that are similar to um, participant responses in the survey, right? So, um, so that's how you're going to do. You can also double click it and see that information, and it will help you to know why they are similar, right? You double click and you can see that uh, things that are related to negative, and you can see and compare, um, see the similarities and the difference. So this is how you're going to do. So as I said, there are two ways that you can do it. You can use um, comparison diagram which has a little bit of limitation because you can only compare two um, cases or two items and then you can use a project map where you have unlimited comparison you know you can compare more than two and you can get a lot of information from that um, so this is a short presentation to explain how to do the comparison compare cases and all you can compare notes this is Philip Edu um, I'm one of the methodology experts at NCADE. Thank you.